All right, so today we're gonna to be trying to conquer the maze. So the objective is to start your robot out here and have it end over here in this part, okay? Now when we do this, I wanna make sure we have a few things ready to go. You should have a battery clipped in there and your robot should be turned on before you try to plug it into the computer. And you're also gonna need a USB cable. Okay, so now we are back at the computer here. We've got our robot with a battery in it. We've turned it on and we've plugged it into the USB cable. So what you're gonna do is go down here to the Windows button. You can actually press on your keyboard too, the Windows button. You're gonna type in NXT. It doesn't look like you should type anything there, but it, it happens if you do. NXT, and then you wanna make sure you get the one that says programming. There's these other ones like data logging. That won't work, you gotta use programming. Okay, so now that we have the NXT programming going, it's going to take a second for that to kind of boot up. And we'll see here. Okay, so the first thing you probably want to do, we're going to make a new program and we're going to call it the maze. Let's say maze number one. And we're going to press go. And that will get us into the programming environment in here. And now we're going to check and make sure our robot is connected to the computer. Because if we do all the programming, it doesn't do us a whole lot of good if we can't download the program to the robot. So we're going to click this one right here that has a little Lego brick on it. Click that button. And you can see this one is, it says there's a connection type and it's available. You might have to uh, find one and connect to it. But mine's already connected and it's available. Oh wait, connect. There we go. Now we're connected. Sorry. Now I'm going to go over here. If you want to, you can change the name that shows up on the robot. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to change it to Mr. W. All right, Mr. W. And you have to press that button. And now this will be, it'll show up as Mr. W on the screen. But you have to do that every time because we kind of swap robots a lot in class. So, all right. So now we're connected. I'm going to close this up. We're ready to start programming. Now, look, first thing we want to do is in the maze, we need to move forward. And we need to move forward about, I don't know, 15, 18 inches. I don't know, roughly. But here's what you're going to do. You're going to grab this move block. See this one? This is the move block. Now, if you get on this other page, it looks like this. You can go back down here at the bottom. So now I put in a move block. And if our robot's wired the way it should be, this will move forward C and B at the same time. So this is a move straight forward block right now. Now, I want you to really pay attention down here at the bottom. We're going to start changing some things in here. We want to use B and C. That's fine. We want to go forward. If we wanted to ride backward, we could click this, but no, we're going to go forward. Now, look, this is going to go straight forward. I could curve to the left and the right. You're going to see that in just a second. I'm going to reduce the power. Since since we um, it's, it's a lot easier to do this assignment, we're going to run it at 40%. So I want you to change the, all your power to 40%. And for duration, we're going to go in seconds. So that way we can actually count it to see how it works. Now, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I have no idea how many seconds it should go. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to guess and put it at five seconds. It's the first time. And now we have a block that moves B and C forward, which is our two engines we have. Straight forward. It's going to go at 40% speed which will give us much better accuracy and it's easier to kind of uh, adjust our turns and adjust everything uh, using slower speeds because then we don't have to use fractions and decimals of a section quite as much. So I'm going to go and try five seconds. I have no idea what this is going to do, but let's go see what it does. Now to get it on the robot, we're going to press the download button, which is right here. Don't press play because it'll, it'll run and start running right on your desk plugged into the computer. So press download and you'll hear a beep. Oh, this one must be on silent mode. So it said it's downloaded. And so now I'm going to disconnect it and we're going to head over to the uh, track again. Okay, so now we have a robot. This is a very important part of what you're going to be doing. You have to, because it's very precise and we're going to be going around, you've got to make sure that you set your robot the same every time you put it down. If you have it tilted one way or the other, it's going to change everything throughout here. So I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna put mine so the axles are right in the middle of this one and it's right in the middle and it's facing straight ahead. So now I'm gonna go on here and I'm gonna to go to software files, maze one, and I'm gonna press the button. Oop. 
two. Uh oh. You can see that that's a lot longer than it should be. So it went too far. So I'm going to try three seconds instead. Let's go try that. Okay, so now I'm going to go and I'm going to reduce. My guess is now that it probably just needs to maybe go three seconds. So I change that value to three. Got to make sure you clicked on this block, otherwise, this won't show up. We change that value to three. And then we plug our robot back in and we're going to press download again. Okay, so I'm going to line up my robot exactly like I did last time. The axles are on halfway mark. This is about halfway and it's facing straight ahead. Two, three. Hey, that's not bad. I might want to scale it back just a little bit so it's not so close to this, but that should work for the first part. Now what we have to do is we're going to do a sharp turn where it turns in place and we want it to stop when it's facing straight this way. So we got to now do that next part. But three seconds looks like it's okay. I might take it back to like 2.8 or 2.5 or something. But other than that, I think this is okay. So we're going to change this, like I said, just a little bit. So let's just instead of three, let's go like 2.6 or 2.7 I don't care just to just cut a little bit off okay give us a little more room to work with our turn okay now you see when I click off of it that disappears we're gonna grab another move block this does nothing you have to tap it on to here there we go now it's all set up so now we have the one that's gonna go forward for what 2.8 seconds or 2.7 and then we're gonna do a turn to the right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here on, and make sure you're not on the first one we're on the second one first of all we're gonna go down here and we're gonna make it all the way hard turn to the right so you keep sliding this all the way over to the right that will do a, a instead of a slow turn that goes gradual it'll do a turn tight in place like we want now we got to figure out and we're gonna reduce the power down to 40 to make it more accurate and then we're gonna figure out you know how many seconds now you, you think this is degrees right like oh we want to go 90 degrees but that's actually not what it is 90 degrees is what we want the robot to rotate we want the wheels to rotate enough to rotate the mind the we the robot 90 degrees so if the wheels only turn 90 degrees that's only one quarter of a turn of the wheels that doesn't do much so we're going to set it on seconds again and um use seconds to estimate our turn now i don't know how long it will take i'm just going to say two seconds Okay, that's my guess. 40% power for two seconds. We are on a sharp turn, and let's go and download this and give it a try. Okay, so once again, we're going to be very careful about the way we line it up. So halfway, and make sure it's straight ahead. Okay, let's do it. So we go forward for 2.8. Perfect. Okay, now let's take a look at that. Now don't just stop and say, oh, it didn't work. Okay, let's think about what we have here. We needed it to go here, which would be 90 degrees. It went beyond that, which is 180, probably 190. So we need to at least cut it, at a minimum, cut it in half. So that'd be one second. I'm gonna say less than that, probably like 0.8. Let's try 0 0.8, 0 0.8. Okay, so I'm not, uh, so I gotta look here. I'm, this is my go forward. I'm gonna make sure I'm clicked on this second block, which is our turn. And I'm gonna reduce the two second turn, which is way too much, down to a little less than one second. So like I thought 0 0.8, just a little less. It's like four fifths of a second. I don't know, I'm thinking either 0 0.8 or 0 0.9. I don't know. Well, let's just give this a try. All we have to do is walk back here and try it again. If we don't, it doesn't work. This is all guess and check, a lot of it. Once we get the first few turns and things down, it gets a lot easier. All right, so here we are. And again, we're gonna make sure we set it up proper. Right in the middle and straight ahead. Okay, not enough. So maybe one second is gonna be what I want. Let's go back and change that again. Try it again. Okay, so there it is, and we're going to reduce that, or increase that up to, let's say, one second. Download. Okay, and there we have it. So let's try our new one second turn. Hey, that looks pretty darn good. 
might have to do a little bit more like one, but I don't think so. I think one is just about right. So now we're gonna go forward. And remember, this was like, what, 2.8? Now we're gonna go, since we're right about in the middle, I'm gonna try going forward 2.8 and then duplicating that turn again. So we just need to copy those first two. Or we can make them repeat. All right, so we're gonna duplicate these. So what I wanna do is grab this one and I click that and then I go up to here, edit, and I go to copy and edit, paste. And I'll paste a new one here, just like the old one we had and you have to clip it on here. Then you click on this one, edit, copy, edit, paste. If you know the shortcuts, of course you can use the shortcut keys, control C and control V. So there we go. And now we have those, let's download them, get them on a robot, see how it works. So here's one, there's the second one. Now we're on the copy. Oh wow, that looks like it's really going to work well. Now we need to copy it again and change it from a right turn, which would go, you know, that would be bad, to a left turn. So we're gonna make forward and then a left turn. So here we are, and we're gonna do the same procedure again. We're gonna click this one, copy, and paste. And we'll have that one there. That's the go forward one. And you can see by the turn or go forward, they kind of show you what it is. And then I'm gonna click this one, I'm going to use control C, but you can use the menu, copy, and paste. Now, this last one needs to be turned to a left turn. So let's click this, and we're going to go down to the bottom, and instead of right, we're going to drag it all the way over back to the left. There we go. Now let's try that. So we got forward, turn right, another forward and turn right. That's pretty good forward now turn left Ooh, we are getting pretty close here so that second that third forward we're going to make that a little longer let's extend it from 2.8 to like three so it'll be out here maybe and then it'll turn now we need to look here we need to go forward significantly more but i'm going to from here i'm going to leave it up to you guys to finish this so you have all the basic tools that you need to do good luck on your robotics